Hey, welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today is going to be an exciting video, so I'm glad that you tuned in. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Your support's appreciated. Plus, you'll keep up to date with all these Don's Life projects. Anyway, today's exciting because we are going to replace the wrap on the Cadillac Escalade. If you remember from previous videos, uh, most of the time it was a charcoal matte metallic um, by Vivid but I've got a different color wrap. But before I show you the new color wrap, I wanted to remind you why we had to do the wrap again anyway. This bumper was crashed into by a camper or holiday trailer. It backed in gently, pushed the bumper in here, cracked it, broke this piece of trim, broke all the mounts for this light. So all of this was replaced. The bumper was repainted. It has been curing now for over a week, week and a half maybe. But what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take my time. I'll show you, you know, how I'm removing the door handles, uh, certain trim, that type of thing. I won't take off everything if I don't have to, um, but I still wanna have a, a good end result. Lucky for you, it will all be put together in time lapse and you get to watch one video on it. I'll be spending several days on it. So my costume's gonna change from day to day and uh, it is Halloween, October 31st. So anyway, here is the new color. Right here. Whoa. Yes, my wife wants flashy and glittery. So she got the pick. She wanted pink. Because I drive the vehicle sometimes, I'm not against pink. I have pink clothing. I don't know about the appeal when we go to sell the vehicle, if pink will get, you know, the most wide array of appeal for potential buyers. But I think that the diamond metallic white will appeal to a broader audience because the goal still is to sell this vehicle in the next year, year and a half, and hopefully um, replace it with something extra exciting. Um, so yeah, let's uh, not waste any more time. I'll show you some of the prep. I'll show you some of the tools I'm using. I'm gonna get my wife to come and help me um, so you get to see Mrs. Dawn's life. And it's just easier with two people when you've got to stretch vinyl over larger panels. The first time I wrapped this, I did 99% of it by myself and wasn't that fun. But in the end, it was worth it. Um, so let's get going. I'm gonna start with the back hatch. In the previous video where I took off the wrap, I didn't bother putting back the interior trim because I knew I'd be wrapping it a few weeks later. So instead of showing you how to undo every screw, I'll just show you each piece and what's involved with removing it close up to the camera. So as you come over here, you can see, for example, the handle. It's just held in with four bolts. And then there's one pressure fit clip that goes in there. And then there's this grommet with the wire that makes the handle work. So we'll be wrapping this piece separate. We'll clean all that up. So I'll just set this to the side. This piece is a little more involved, this trim. So there are a number of bolts on the back. 10 millimeter, really easy to get off. But there is this nut on the side and I just left them finger tight. finish line cut tape following the body line of the vehicle here because we're still going to do this two-tone the top is going to be all black and the new color is going to be the bottom three-quarters 
So this finish line is gonna go right into where this trim begins. And then it follows the body line all the way to the back. We have low tack tape right here, so a painter's tape, if you will. And that'll help when we're positioning the vinyl to make sure that um, we can pull it up and move it and not have to worry about it sticking everywhere. So let's uh, get started. I got magnets to hold the vinyl up. we're going to use our finish line tape. This piece we'll probably have to do in two pieces. You saw a video where I rewrapped this a long time ago. I did it in three pieces. I did an insert here. I did a large piece around the outside and I did one across the top. This film is supposed to be a little easier to work with. It's made by Avery compared to the version of the film I bought from David last time. So I'm going to try this in one piece again, recess it into here. Um, I'm going to leave up in this area black. Uh, nobody sees it anyway, and it's going to look like it's part of that trim and how it was designed anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll put my finish line tape right in this crevice all the way along, and then we'll lay the new piece on, push the recess in, post heat it, pull the uh, line off, and we should have a nice clean line there. And then we'll finish it off with the strip on here, and then we can put the trim and handles back on. So we got this piece on. I had to borrow my wife's extra pair of hands, so she wasn't able to record part of that, but I'll try and record all of this for you. But we did make our seam here. It goes all the way across. We've wrapped everything in. We post heated um, all of this, so it shouldn't lift. But now we're gonna put some finish line tape right up against the edge of the vinyl that's here, because these Cadillacs have, and I guess the Tahoes and the Yukons, they have this weld right here that you can't really hide. So overlapping the film is actually going to look better. So I'm just making a little bit of a lip under here about a quarter inch, and then that'll make this all one nice piece all the way across.
but as you can see, very sparkly. All right, we're gonna call it a night, guys. We got pretty much the back of the vehicle done. Mud flaps are back on, fuel cap. I haven't secured all the trim on yet. I got some plans for that. But uh, yeah, there we go. I'm tired, we'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next day. I'm gonna show you some of the tools that I've been using. So we got a selection here. We got these fabric squeegees. We got a large selection of all types of regular squeegees with various stiffness. Some have more flex than others. Replacement felts. These are really handy for getting into crevices. So if you wanted to tuck the vinyl in here, for example, you can peel back the rubber and guide the vinyl in. And the black is the stiffest and the red is the most flexible and the blue's in between. Lots of different wrap gloves. They do get quite dirty just from handling different parts and, and touching things. So it's nice to have some clean ones. We've got drills and a flashlight, measuring tape for cutting the vinyl, different uh, trim removal tools right here. Can't live without our isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Got some low tack tape, a marker, magnets for holding the vinyl up against the body if you need the extra hand. All the bits and screwdrivers I need to work with all the trim on the Escalade is all located right here for ease of use. Sometimes you might need some pliers, lots of different knives. I use this one predominantly right here. It's got the uh, nicest angle blade um, for when you drag along the vinyl, cuts very nice. Uh, 3M finish line tape and this Chinese stuff here that actually works pretty good. And uh, another cutter for the vinyl. I do recommend setting up a table large enough that you can cut your panel sizes. I also temporarily hung up my vinyl roll there so it'd be easier to access. I'll take it down when it's all done and used. But yeah, let's get uh, back at wrapping and I'll show you some of the disassembly on the doors. Okay guys, we got a little more done. Got that fender done there. As you can see, I'm wearing different clothes, so it's another day. I'm just gonna show you how to take off this trim here, because we want to get the vinyl just tucked a little bit underneath. So if you look at the door, you'll see there's a little torque screw right here. 
And then there's another one behind this weather stripping, which I've already pulled out. It has a little plug attached to it. And the other screw is right there. So you just back out these two screws. And you should be able to just lift it up. There's just some clips in the middle. There we go. And you can drop it on the floor like I did. Nice and dirty. Clean that up and then we'll put our vinyl on. show you how to take off one of the door handles. So first you got to take this tab out right here and that will reveal, reveal that Torx bit right there. So we grab ourselves a T25. And with one hand we back out that screw. Now it's very important you don't drop this in the door. It can be a bit of a pain to get out. I know from experience. So what I like to do is loosen it right to the point of falling. So I think this screw might be aluminum and not magnetic. Don't quote me on that. Got it. What I did is I just reached my hand up through here and grabbed it. You can heat this up and pull this back.
many guys, we're in the final stretch. We pretty much just have the bumper left. I think it's looking great. So look at the door handles here. Stock. And I think it looks better doing this. So I'm just gonna do that to the rest of them. I think it looks good. I'm considering this is just a quick test with some scrap of also doing the white and the spokes. Not sure if we'll do that, we'll see. I'm gonna show you a couple areas just since the vehicle's apart that you might wanna pay attention to if you take apart uh, a Cadillac or a Tahoe or something like that. So these clips that come off with the door panel are much easier to put back together if you take them out of the door panel Clip them in here, so the driver's door has five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to grab the window trim piece that looks like this. I guess you can't really see it here, but it's that, that rubber and felt liner that goes in there. If you leave that connected to the door and try and attach it, good luck, it's a pain in the butt. But I'm going to separate it, put it on first, and then the door just clips in. Super easy, I'll show you. Okay, so here's the door panel here and those clips, they came out with the door panel right here. There's five of them on the driver's door and they're attached to this piece of weather stripping. And if you have that left on there and you try to put it back on the vehicle, it just gets in the way. So remove it and then go put this back on the truck and I'll show you how it all clips in super easy. Trying to do this one-handed even. So we start with this edge. We'll look at some polka dot pajamas back there. And then it just clips in. Now on this end, I can actually bend it, feed it in behind the mirror cover. And then they all just tuck into these clips. So as you can see, it fits in easy like that. And then I'm just gonna be able to push the door panel in uh, once I connect the cable for the handles and some of the electrical wiring. Okay guys, we're just about ready to go on the bumper. I've got an insert there, here, and here with some knifeless tape ready to go. And some knifeless tape just in some other areas I want a straight edge. So we're gonna try and do this in one piece. This Avery film's been very easy to deal with out of all the different wraps I've tried. And I'm just an amateur. I haven't tried hundreds or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let's do a quick time lapse and see how this goes. Guys, we did it, we got it done. What do you think, look at that sparkle. The missus is going to be very happy. Of course, she's already seen most of it. I think it looks pretty damn good. There we go. So if you liked the video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We are about to do more to the truck. We're going to black out a bunch of the trim. 
We're getting the prep started right now. You can see it's beginning. So you don't want to miss that video. Plus coming up, another reason to subscribe is we're going to be wrapping the M4. So I have a bunch of samples here. And this is a new line of vinyl from Vivid. They sent me some samples to try out. And I've got to pick one. It's going to be a tough job. Anyway, I hope you liked today's video and we'll talk to you next time.